deadline, the 19th of March to the 21st of March 2021, the sleepy ancient city of Bidon Niger State played host to the heroic arrival of more than a hundred horses from Nigeria and other parts of Africa. The serene city soon witnessed a reawakening of an age-long heroic gallop of homebred and foreign horses that would soon animate the undulating topography of Nupeland. It was time for action. Action that will keep people off and sometimes at the age of their seats. It was the Unity Derby Horse Racing Tournament. It's made in edition. Yeah, the foundation that uh, existed now was very local mm, in nature. Now we're making a federation, you know, so it's going to go beyond uh, local uh, you know, arrangement within the country. You know, we're expecting other countries, especially in Africa, to come participate in this tournament. For the maiden edition of a tournament of this magnitude, the scope was obviously ambitious and staggering. So, expectation was very high from the organizers of this tournament. Uh, you know, opinions and uh, uh, what is it called? Perceptions. Perceptions. Sometimes, uh, you know, can actually uh, set the group up sometimes, you know, set up, up against uh, each other. We should always have it at the back of our mind that uh, we are out to as, a, achieve the same goal. Only that we are viewing things from different uh, perspectives. So that Allah that will be more happy the journal to say, "Osamu zulpin hakuri the journal," because it's really, really important. So, invitation Some people felt that let it just be a symbolic invitation, Bawei. Particular invitation. Yeah. So if we're going to move forward, we is a candidate Allah. Let's reach out to everybody is a candidate Allah. Abundi efa rubaya abari. Abundi moving forward. The azar em we moving forward. The mind of certain people, but if one that is not interested in moving forward, to move them into fi. Move them into fi. Move them into fi. Inshallah, we kuma mazamu da uba. Muke tuna number one day that she muba one now apu se kai. Umai daddy. Kumai am sure mau awal nolok je. Hari ini aku awal nanti saya sahur. Ye si mai angkut ke drama aku dan aku nak muka cik bang Shiro kau miba. Ye cik tu muzium kamu Shiro. Kau ina apa hari doa nara na dengan kebaca doa na abu nara macam. Sentra kecuali na awal nang diamond kau dia doa nolok tu nolok tu benda bar. Cerita si kau jangan cerita aku cik mau kau doa na. Wan dah muka doa doa ni orang makan nasi aku cik wah. Toko ayam ini program ni nama ya. The fact that we are intending to have a unifying you know, arrangement, the theater, 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 the the theater, the theater, the theater, the 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 this particular tournament, we are going to make up a committee that will meet 
you know, with all the other functions, I even learned that the future, this federation has actually come to stay. And then uh, we are inviting them to join us with Lama once in one moment. There will be fair play. Cars and cash prices for winners. A conducive arena for a huge free tournament with no accident whatsoever. This was enough to task the organizers of the maiden edition of the Derby to the limit of patience, fund and other resources needed to organize a tournament that is first of its kind, yet national in scope. First, there was the accreditation of the horses to ascertain every claim like the age, breed, trainer information that will help in determining the eligibility of the horses for the different categories of the race and assure fair play. For a long time, there are always Sudan horses, that is, horses that originated from Sudan. We also have horses that come from Chadi, which we call Talo. This is the kind of horses we have been using in horse racing in Nigeria and beyond. But this is the first time we are introducing horses that are bred, born and bred in Nigeria. That is the one we gave the name Niger breed. So this is the first time we are introducing them. We won't be equal to Sudan in any other way, whether in, in terms of horse racing, that we have our own horses. This is the first time we are introducing them into the truck. I think uh, one of the greatest challenges that we had that was of great concern that uh, we had to bring, you know, uh, a lot of expertise into it is the screening of the horses. Because uh, it's a very, very delicate aspect, you know, of racing activities in Nigeria because of uh, a lot of maneuvering. It's usually done at the screening, uh, higher horses would be brought into, you know, lower races. The opening race witnessed the highest number of horses with horse number six coming first. Race two with six horses. <laughs> Race number three with horse four, Hannibal, coming first, while horse number two, Zina, followed closely in second position. Race 4, 
Horse number one, Golden Eagle, came first, while horse number two came second. In all the races in day one and two, the spectators got more than they bargained for as the horses and the jockeys went to the limits of raw energy and human endurance to outdo one another. Watu nari gana ga, watu baka zanya kama, watu Golden Eagle inde sika hati yuri daya hari ila yenzudei, watu baka zamde shi, watu hari ila yenzudei Istanbul shi yake kanga ba, amana ga watu baka zantare de Golden Eagle suna koka nika misha hari babu zato babu amani, Golden Eagle baka zam Istanbul Istanbul yake kanga ba, amana ga Golden Eagle yache ah ah, wallahi yanzina zantare de kaza moji, sunta swa mkuu na alami lapia Istanbul Gandil Eagle Golden Eagle de yari gaya kamashi Sunkare kwana lami lapia Golden Eagle Istanbul Golden Eagle Istanbul Sunkare uri daya Anakora Anabulala Anakora Anabulala Amaina Hariyanzu Guru ya bachi Guru ya bachi Istanbul ne Tarata Golden Wato e Golden Eagle Golden Eagle Golden Eagle Istanbul Golden Eagle Istanbul Golden Eagle Istanbul Golden Eagle Istanbul Bagazam Golden Eagle Istanbul Bagazam, Golden Eagle, Istanbul, Bagazam. Indeed. This has been the birthing of a new dawn as the first and second days set the mood for what to expect at the end of the tournament. One of the highest points in the tournament was race number six, 1,200 meters. The spectators went into wild jubilation as Zerkindawaki's horse came first. Progression was quite slow, but uh, at the end of the day, it's actually a very good shot because a lot of work was done. As I said earlier, some horses that were talked about at the back of the evolution, and then the, the finishing time was also very good. If the first two days of the tournament paved the way for a successful derby, there was not enough foreground for the surprise of the last day of the tournament. The Etsunupe had mobilized dignitaries from far and wide and they have generously turned out in their best mood and appearance to honor a respected monarch. Indeed, kings, emirs, and other dignitaries have come from far and near to add color to this truly national derby.
amanan kowa bana abu dan sani na gwamnatin gyaran kasa ba gwamnatin suruci ba muna nan muna fi The huge crowd of spectators was just what the riders and the horses needed to intoxicate them into gallantry. As nothing was paired in mounted artistry by men and display of raw strength by horses, the race course witnessed a time of memorably raw action. If the essence of the tournament was to foster unity by organizing a hitch-free tournament in an atmosphere of transparency and fair play without an accident whatsoever and these were achieved within the maiden edition of a race with minimum resources, then the future's brilliance is within a visible distance. Alhamdulillah, uh, I can't say more but uh, to give all thanks to Allah so far, so good. We've not uh, encountered any accidents. We've not encountered any disagreements in the races. So uh, there's nothing more I will say, but uh, so far it's been a beautiful success. If I am to be honest with you, I've been to a couple of horse racing meetings in Nigeria, but I can tell you that without any fear, that this is one of the best, if not the best, horse racing meeting I've ever been in Nigeria. It's well organized and uh, the caliber of people here present is unprecedented. Actually, I don't really know how to express my feeling about this turnout. It was marvelous because this is the maiden edition. It's been very interesting. You know, the tournament is a complete success. And then star prizes were won, of course and then we had no incident. That is also even record-breaking. And this award will be presented to Buddha by Alaja Abubakar Shaba running Tsonga. This is the man that is almost everywhere this evening. I think he's the man of the moment. Buddha is set to receive an award for best jockey. We thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the late Sir Amadou Bello Memorial Cup is horse number two, Burinet, belonging to Sarkin Fulan in Lagos, representing Lagos State. A round of applause to Burinet uh, from Lagos State. With a saloon car, 50,000 naira foil into Lagos State and a trophy. Alaji Siddiq Alasan Chigari from Sokto State, a prominent owner. And a winner, he has been winning, winning, and winning. All the time he has been winning. Uh, a trophy, a car keys, plus 50,000 naira to foil his car to Sokoto State. The man from Burkina Faso is here. He has his flag all over him, signifying the country where he comes from. And he has won himself the sum of 300,000 naira. Ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, the prize, the grand prize of the of our grand patron, His Eminence the Sultan Muhammad Saad Abakar III, also goes to Burkina Faso because this horse is from Burkina Faso, and the horse is nuclear, belonging to Dam Hilan from Burkina Faso. He is still the representative of the owner from Burkina Faso. We are calling on the second place in that category, host number four, El Gazel, belonging to Saeed Omar Kamala, the treasurer, Nupe Taf, and assistant chairman, LOC, uh, 2021 Taf Club Federation. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, just, okay. The winner of BDEP KYA, which is the Governor's Cup, goes to host number one, Ikwa Allah, belonging to our able chairman, the Sarkin Dawa Kinupi, Al Haji Abakar Mustafa, and the chairman, local organizing committee, maiden edition of the Taft Club Federation of Nigeria, the Sarkin Dawa Kinupi. He won a brand new car with 50,000 to foil it to his house, at the same time with a trophy and a medal. A round of applause to this horse, Ikwa Allah belonging to Sarkin Dawa Kinupi. Thank you very much, sir. All right, thank you very much. Sir Kenda Kinupe is about to be presented uh, to with an award. Kaki and a trophy from the representative of His Excellency, who is a person of the Honorable Commissioner for Youth and Sports of Niger State. Your Excellency received the prize. A round of applause to this horse, Ikwan Allah. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Honorable All right, thank you, thank, you thank you very much. much. Sir Kendak, you won a car, a trophy, and a cash award of 50,000 Naira. Just like the treasurer, Alaji Said Umar, won a medal and a cash award, and all in honor of the tough this evening. Thank you very much, the Commissioner for Youth and Sports, Naji said. I represent my chairman here. I'm representing you. You will be here today to travel out of the country. That's why they invited me from the state to be for me to come here to come and represent you. And I'm I'm overwhelmed. I also want to thank the city of Lumi. It's my personal friend because we're all friends in the Council of Alba Federation. They are nice people. So on behalf of my chairman, I Sultan of Tokoto, I presented to you this award. Congratulations. God bless you. I believe I'm coming under the umbrella of uh, Tough Club Federation of Nigeria now. It has the capacity to unite, you know, Nigerian people. Because it used to be a northern affair now, now it is a Nigerian affair. So we are hoping that next time, maybe our before we close the calendar for the year, our next race is likely going to be maybe in the east or uh, west. It has never happened in this country before. We hope that at the end of the day, this development, you know, will bring unity, you know, improve our economy and actually, you know, create a job. Just to apply to people, you know, of uh, goodwill, you know, people who have uh, uh, interest in this uh, sport to support us. And we are very much grateful for a lot of support from individuals and corporate bodies. The organizers and uh, the people that participated have put in their best. And uh, there is some little aspect of it to be improved and not only that the, the environment need to be improved too so that it can meet up not only national standard but international standard this will attract tourism especially if everything is put in a better shape and of international standard that will bring tourism and you know Tourism will improve the economy because it will involve uh, money flow and it will involve a lot of 
transaction in all aspects, especially for those people who have the horses, they need to buy the food. Somebody from this locality can start farming grass to keep and prepare the food for such horses. We really need sponsors, we need uh, corporate organizations to invest in horse racing. Uh, rearing a horse is actually a very, very expensive, you know, venture. So we are looking forward, you know, to getting sponsors from multinationals. You know, the same thing you sponsor the NFA, do their JCs, you know, get clubs for them, Nigerian international players, that is what we are looking forward to. That's what we are looking forward to. And then we are actually, as a federation now, is, is one of the, the, the approaches that we are looking forward to, uh, to commence as soon as possible. Behold the majestic tough that became the animated ruler. Not for horsing around, but a race for horses, a race for jockeys, a race for prizes, and a race for unity. The Gleets the glamour and the gains of TCFN's Unity Derby has left an indelible mark that will inspire more patronage, more investment, more recognition to the momentous and wealth generating sport of horse racing. Welcome to another era, the era of unity in horse racing in Nigeria.